free time, we've no control If the sky is pink and white If the ground is black and yellow It's the same way you showed me Nod my head, don't close my eyes Halfway on a slow move It's the same way you showed me Hey everybody, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Ash-ish. So now that I have reached the end of my third of the fifth nursing semester, I have decided that I will start to do videos more consistently. Believe it or not, I am just really getting the hang of how I want things to go. I finally worked out every single kink that I possibly could have while I'm going through nursing school. Praise God. But <clears throat> I'm going to start doing videos weekly. I'm going to post videos related to maternal issues or um, child videos on Tuesdays. And on Thursdays, I'll post anything else. So if you have any videos that you'd like me to do then just leave them in any comment section or something like that and then i'll just get to them and work them out that way so anyway today this video is going to be about 10 minutes and it is my review on the spectra s2 breast pump it's an electrical breast pump and amazing story i got it as a prescription written for me from my OBGYN. Usually you can get breast pumps written in a prescription as long as you have insurance that covers the cost from your OBGYN if you are expecting the child up until your baby is six months. Well, I didn't actually find out that I was eligible until my baby was almost eight months. But luckily, my OB still wrote the prescription and it was accepted. So I decided that I would go with the Spectra S2. In the past, I've had the Medela. Um, I have had the Free Me manual breast pump that you fit inside your bra, which I've done a two-day review on in the past. But um, this one is a bit different. So here is my pump. Take it apart real quick. Here's my pump, okay? It's really lightweight. Really lightweight. Um, it can't can't weigh any more than I don't know. I mean, a gallon of a gallon of milk is heavier than this. But anyway, this is my Spectra Two. Very quiet. It's a very quiet pump. And some features that I like most about this is that some of the pieces are interchangeable with other um, pump systems. Um, where is my top? I do it. Did I drop it? Knowing me, I dropped it. Knowing me, I dropped it. Okay, I didn't. Okay, pieces like this. Okay, this is the piece that releases the milk. See, when the air comes rushing out, it relaxes like this and the milk drips out. Okay, that's how that works. But this also works for my other pump, the Free Me. I can stick it on the Free Me and it does the same thing. The only difference between me, this one and the one for the Free Me is these are white, those are clear. Um, I don't think one is more durable than the other. Okay, then the Spectra has a spot on the back of it to actually hold the bottle, okay? Let's say you're like me and you're just pumping and pumping and pumping and pumping in one sitting, okay? So you finish with one bottle, you want to go to another because you get two Spectra bottles with a starter kit. You could take it and you could sit it here if you're finished with it, but you're not actually ready to get up and go put everything away, okay? Which I, which I think is cool because I'm one of those people who will sit it on the table and then knock it over by mistake because I'm just clumsy for no reason. So I thought that that was nice. And then they have flange sizes that are different too, which is just something that I feel like most breast breastfeeding um, supply manufacturers are starting to become aware of that everybody does not have the same size areola or nipple. And it does make a difference in the quality of uh, your pumping. So um, I like that too. So here we go. They have... 
the actual ports for the tubing in the front. Don't know why, don't really care, but it works for me. Okay, they have two of them in case you wanna do a dual pumping session. And then they have this little stopper that you can put on either one of the holes in case you just wanted to do a single breast. Okay, and you hook it up to this tube in here. This is tubing that I also have for the free me pump, but I like this system because it doesn't have any backflow. It's, it's awesome. And it doesn't have any backflow because of this contraption here that is so funny. It also looks like a little breast, but it comes in three pieces and I'll move this pump to the side so you can see what I'm looking at here. It comes in three pieces here. And what happens is, I'll take all three, show you all three pieces here. What happens is when you hook this tubing up to these holes, it sucks, okay? And when it sucks, it pulls this white plastic back, if it's rubber or whatever, it pulls it back. And that's how you get the suction here. But with this plastic piece being here, nothing can get backed up into the tubing, okay? This is also a, a breastfeeding system that does not collect any mold. So you don't have to take it apart like you're uh, getting ready to take your exam for mechanic school, like you would have to do with the Medela, which is something that I like too. So, um, I'm just going to put it together really quickly so you can see how it works. It's not going to take me that long. Okay. We'll just put one on. We got the one on. And then we'll just put the closure on because it's no, no big deal. Got the closure on here. And we're using this one, as you can see. Got my piece here. I'm not getting ready to actually use it. I'm just showing you how it, how it works. So... I'm going to take this here and poke it right here in this hole, right there in that hole. Okay. So that's why this here, that's where the suction goes. This is how the, the sucking action happens here. I'm going to put this piece right where it belongs. Okay. Almost ready. All right. Now. The only thing that y'all absolutely already know I don't really like about systems like this is the fact that I either have to sit there and hold these bottles to actually pump or I need to get me another mechanism to make sure that I can do this successfully hands-free. Hands-free is absolutely one of my favorite things. It's always top on my list if I'm going to be doing anything. It's hands-free. It's just where it's at. But I am not in a financial position to be trying out things like um, Evie or Willow. Not yet. But when I get my nursing degree, I will get there. And I'm pretty sure that I will still be pumping, especially if I have another child. And I'm definitely going to be using it. The only thing I don't like about those they only hold five ounces in capacity and for some women that's child's play so um i, I don't know what they're going to do to figure that out so now i'm just putting the power cord into here and no there's no place for batteries you don't need any batteries but you can also find a cord that fits here that can go into your charger uh, port in the car and your volt um, that you would usually use like to charge your phone and then if you have one of those bras where you could sit these inside of there then you can just pump as you drive still hands-free it's a little more work but if you really like the spectra s2 it's a way to get it done this comes in pink and blue as far as i've seen but if you don't think that you will be able to get this through your insurance i know for a fact that i've seen it between 140 dollars to 210 dollars in um in retail stores so when i plug her up this is what she sounds like okay That's all the noise, okay? And she comes with a light. Look at that, it can get brighter. Mm -hmm. 
So if you feel like you're using it in the middle of the night, but you're just too tired and you just really don't want to turn lights on and disturb anybody else, you can get it done, mama. This can help you. I really like it. I'm telling you, it's a lightweight machine. I prefer this over the Free Me. And I'll do a review where I compare and contrast the two. But um, yeah, check it out if you need a new pump. Um, they have other features on there too. Let me turn it back on so I can show you quickly. So, while it's running, I don't really need it as far as the actual pump goes, the, the cup, but I wanna show you what's happening here on the screen. So, I don't know if you can see this, but there is some stuff going on right here. So we have a cycle, we have a timer, and then we have a vacuum. So I adjust my vacuum based on how I'm feeling that day. Um, I usually start on a four. So there's a little wave here in the middle and it can tell it's what, whether or not you want to express first or whether you want to just go right into, um, go right into um, stimulation. So this is on express right now. L8 is like a strong, a really strong suction. So let's go ahead and press this wave. As you can see, it went lighter. It went to L4. If you listen, you can actually hear the suction change too. The speed and the strength of it changed. And then it changed to a cycle of 70. So you can change cycles here too. So if I go down, go up, it can change the cycles based on what I push over here. So if I go ahead, let's see, let's say I go down. We want to go to L2, which is really light for me. But we want to change this to a different cycle. Okay. Now the next time I come on here, it's going to change it. So let's cut it off like I'm done. All right, we're done. All right, let's turn it back on. New pumping session. We ended on, this is how we began last time. Let's switch it and see what happens. Okay. It remembered what we wanted to do second. Okay. It, it always, it, 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 it has a good memory. So um, you have to figure out what works for you, how you want to start and how you want to finish. And the machine is like a really good friend who just wants to see you succeed and works with you along that way. The other thing I like about this machine is if you just have something you need to do and you don't really have the time to sit there and check and watch the time, you can set this on timer. It's automatically set on a 30 minute timer and I just leave it there because I feel like that's the most consistent thing. 30 minutes is a good time. Like if you wanna just try to pump as much as you can. And if you're going to use a bra, I mean, if you're going to use this machine, I do suggest that you get one of those bras where you just sit the, 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 um, the pumps inside so that you can be hands free so you can get something done in 30 minutes. Um, if you know that you're going to pump like, I don't know, five or six ounces max in 30 minutes. Make sure that you massage your breasts and um, you calm and you relax and you drink a lot of water as long as you're breastfeeding. Um, I will probably point out other things in the comparison video that I do next week. Um, so be looking out for it. But in the meantime, ask any questions you have here. Like I said, it's lightweight. I stick it in the bottom of my purse, bottom of my book bag. Nobody really bothers it. Very easy to clean. I boil the pieces occasionally, but they wash really good. Okay, till next time.